the year 30 year graduate from, graduate from high school. And two girls from very prominent families were had that taboo stigma of being pregnant in high school. Yeah. They came from very loving families. I mean, in today's society with the television and these kids are bombarded with nothing but sexuality, you know, even on the nicest sitcoms, everybody loves Raymond. All he did was, you know, want it from the wife all the time. These kids are being bombarded with it, so it's not necessarily, you know, parents' non-involvement. It's peer pressure and what these kids are faced with nowadays. So I'm I'm heavy in, in favor of this check because, quite frankly, um, I would much rather have a 16-year-old that she's going to do what I would have not wanted her to do, regardless of, of what I say. Yeah. Um, and I would much rather have her do that than potentially get pregnant, you know, she won't graduate. The statistics are astronomical. She won't graduate from high school. She will raise that child without a father. She won't have the opportunities, and neither will that child. And it's just going to, believe you me, I've seen it. It just creates a vicious cycle. Well, Cheryl, let me ask you, let me ask you this. Like, the thing that, that I get worried about is number one, the side effects of things like this when you put that into a 16, 15, 14 year old's body. Number two, I think what worries me about it is when you keep kind of putting the, putting the crib up for lack of a better term, when you keep, you know, just kind of putting, oh, no, that's, it's okay, it's just a little safeguard. You know, they're just a little drunk. Now they're wasted. You know, it's just, it, when, you know, where does this lead to? You know, if, if, we're, if we're giving them the morning after pill now, where's this going to lead to later? Yeah, well, how does having three kids by the time you're 20 years old affect a woman's body? You know, it's six and one and a half dozen the other. Um yeah, but my, my, my problem and is... I've seen that happen. I've seen that happen. Oh, I understand. And the difference in that, and the, the difference in that respect is that you've got three little innocent children being raised in below poverty levels 90, 90% of the time. No father figure around to guide them. All you're doing is constantly breeding the cycle of uh, um, it, 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 it's just a never-ending cycle. Well, Cheryl, then then it's the burden of us to go and and to make sure us as a society can help. You know that that churches and that individuals um, you know, can can stay involved in each other's lives because when there's a disconnect in society, when when we when we as a society don't um, don't engage each other, we're not involved in each other's lives. We'll see a breakdown in society. So what I believe is well, is well, let, well, let, well, one second, one second, Cheryl. I'll let you. I, I want to you know I, I want to you know have a little spar in here. I'm not you know argue. I just want to make my point. Right. I my my, my thing is is I believe that we as a society need to be engaged in each other's lives, and when we're not not, that leads down to a wrong pathway, and I think it's a really scary argument to say, you know what, um, you know that kid would have been on uh, government assistance anyway, and it would have been a terrible life. Who are we to judge and say that that kid would have had a bad life, and it's better just to just to um, you know let the let the child uh, not even be conceived or come alive? Well, simply by looking at the statistics, and and you know, I I know from wherever I speak that. It, statistically, that child is, you know, essentially doomed. And I just, I just feel that anymore. I'm totally in agreement with you as far as parental intervention goes and parental guidance. However, today's society is nothing like it was 30 years ago. Yeah. And and I don't care what a parent says or does. It is all around these kids. It's the curiosity. It's not the saving yourself for marriage kind of attitude anymore, you know. Mm -hmm. And and we got to wake up to that. And quite frankly, I don't want to see 15, 16-year-old kids having babies. It is, you know, it, it, it's asinine. They are children themselves. And if taking this pill is going to... You know, it's a pinhead. Oh, yeah, I, 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 and that's not even saying that conception happened. It's the if it did happen, it's not saying it's an automatic abortion. It, mm -hmm. It's saying if it did occur, and I would rather have that in place than having unwanted children being born into a life 